Good evening and welcome to Money Minutes. My name is Lisa Pallavi Barbara and today I'm just going to talk a little bit about SIP and how it's going to help you in uh, the current volatile uh, equity market environment. If you look at uh, the equity markets in the last few months, it's really been a roller coaster ride. The month of August was particularly bad where the Nifty fell around 5% but then it recovered very fast in September and uh, sort of all the losses were forgotten. Now, uh, equity investment is really for the long term. However, in the short term, there are news and events which impact stock prices and index levels. How severe the impact would be really depends on the mood of the market. Now, this creates a volatility which is confusing for retail investors. Let's take the example of a stock like Yes Bank. Now, it fell around 40% in a matter of uh, two, three months. But then in a matter of around uh, 10 days, it recovered 35% from the bottom. Now, you could have bought it at the bottom or you could have bought it at the peak. And it really depends uh, on where you bought it, on uh, on how much return you will make. So how does one predict this volatility in uh, advance? You really can't. So a good way for retail investors who cannot uh, analyze how uh, uh, short-term news and events will impact markets is to make use of equity mutual funds. Leave the stock picking to uh, the experts and also use uh, a facility called Systematic Investment Plan or SIP where you can make small regular investments over a period of time. And SIP essentially lets you invest equal amounts at a frequency that you can choose. You can choose a monthly frequency or a quarterly frequency, put a small amount aside which goes into uh, a particular fund every month. So you have committed your investment regardless of the market level. In this way, you can even take advantage of lower levels of the market because your SIP will be running uh, even if the market is correcting. So you will get the advantage of investing at a lower level, which really is the way to do it. Also, if you're investing in more than one equity fund, then you can spread it across various dates in a month to maximize uh, the advantage of investing at various levels. Now, uh, if you look at some of the large uh, funds and how their SIP have performed. If you had invested in monthly SIPs, then you could have made a return of 8 to 13 percent annualized in the last five years. So SIPs let you do uh, two, three things. They make you a regular investor, so you're committing money every month. They make you disciplined, so you're investing regardless of the market level or the short-term news, etc., which are impacting markets. And they cut out the volatility, so you're investing even at lower levels. And when the market's correct, that's uh, a very good time to have your SIPs running. Uh, that's all from me today. Do keep watching Money Minutes for more investment tips. Thank you.